What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio One Tutorials and pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by Studio One Tutorials and get yourself a copy of Ski Mask Samples um, It is 20 high quality sample loops for you guys to flip, rearrange, use in all of your productions um, Today we're going to be looking at Studio One 4 This is going to be another entry into our beginner's uh, video manual This is a question I get a lot, this is how to to make um, multi-output instruments um, show up in the mixer as as um, as a whole bunch of um, as their assigned channels as opposed to just one. So this is this is something that's really easy to do. And um, when you get into a DAW, you should just um, you know um, have, have like don't just jump into it and um, and start trying to make beats. Like do a couple do a couple just exploratory projects where you could go around and click things and see what and see what they do. Um, the Studio One's controls look just like regular computer controls. So where you would typically see these um, these triangles, these all signify uh, menus, right? So whenever you see a triangle, that means that you can expand it further. Um, so in, so in this case, I have three instruments that, that are multi out instruments. I have impact, which is a stock instrument. I have contact and I have machine two. So if you want to, um, have their individual channels pop out, all you have to do is click this and select, uh, select where it says expand and what that's what, what that will do. And you got to make sure you have your instrument tab. Um, I'm sorry. You have to make sure you have your instrument tab popped out on your mixer right so once you do this you'll be able to expand these um these instruments and if you want to if you want to expose their individual tracks all you have to do is click on them and whichever tracks you want to expose will then be there for you to use and then and then you can go ahead and route them however you want to route them if you want to send uh, four of them to a bus. You can add bus for the selected channels. Um, you can go ahead and use insert effects on each one of the channels. You can use sends on each one of the channels. So this is good for, um, you know, like you guys doing drums inside impact when you want to compress and EQ different sounds machine to, it's going to be the same thing. Um, you just go ahead and expose the outs by clicking on them. And then you'll see them down here. You know, same thing if you want to, if you want to right click on them and then add a bus. And then the same thing is going to be with contact. Now the thing, the thing that <clears throat> Studio One makes it very easy to to get at these um these individual tracks i mean this is i think this is in my opinion this is the easiest daw to do it in uh something like contact though you gotta you know you gotta keep in mind that different developers are going to have different um relationships with tech uh with uh, with dolls and things like that so something like contact for example you actually have to you actually have to show the outputs for this and then at, like for example this version of contact has eight outputs but it's only showing me these aux channels so you need to um you need to you need to set how many how many of these channels you want to actually send out um before studio one can see them and now now that i have stereo one two three four five six seven eight nine if we collapse this guy let's go ahead and collapse him and it should register. Oops. And actually, after you've set your tracks out, it's a good idea to go ahead and recollapse them so you don't have to, so it's easier to navigate. Huh. Well, that is not good. This is actually this is this is something that we're gonna have to write up. I didn't know I didn't know that this that it didn't that it didn't show these. Okay, hold on. 
That's what you got to do. So contact makes you physically route them to outputs and then and then it'll show up over here. OK, cool. Awesome. So, yeah, man, that's and, and that's how it's done. Just real quick and simple. It's 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 not it's not difficult at all. Just click this triangle, expand and then select the channels you want and you will have them out free on the mixer for you to manipulate, um, you know, use the faders, add inserts, add sends and route to buses as you please. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Production Studio 1 Tutorials.com. Y'all keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one.